Well, I hope you friends. How y'all doing? I know it's a little humid tonight. We've had rain here. Humidity is up a little bit. I've even been down to the garden to check on Mama's beans. I've made me some fancy bread. This is, uh, y'all, some of y'all are going to recognize it, you fancy folks. Uh, and I'm just going to squirt just a little bit of olive oil on it to let that be soaking in while we're finishing everything else. All I've done is laid this on the toaster and um, browned it. Put a little butter on it, and I squirted some olive oil on it. And I did sprinkle just a dash dash of Yow's uh, Southern Secret onion powder, garlic powder on it. That's what I use because the other garlic powder I don't do well. What kind of fancy is this? Take a peek under there. You got it. Hot dog buns. Ballpark hot dog buns that we had at our store. I love ballpark buns. I love all the buns. <laughs> you know, I'm not a. Any hot dog bun's good, but I like to use them when I'm having pasta. We're gonna try something new tonight, something I've seen on the face page, Facebook. I did a whole box of this. It's P Panini, Panini Regatta. Is that the way it's said? Eh, that's what I'm calling it. These little rough pastas here, I think Regatta means ridged. And it's got the little ridges on it. And this is just the Food Club brand from uh, Food City. And I used a whole box, one pound. It's a lot of pasta, I ain't gonna lie. So let's bring it over here. I boiled it with salt water. This is gonna go together quick, but I've already done part of it. So this is the pasta. I browned this meat with hamburger this is just a uh, ground chuck and onion, put salt and pepper, and then of course I put y'all Southern Secret on there because I put that stuff on everything. So that's all that is, and I just reheated this in the microwave because I boiled this earlier this morning because I knew I was going to check on beans tonight. I don't think they're quite ready. Mama may disagree, but I did go down there and look, and I picked a few, and they were flat, and you want them to be full. And these just didn't seem full to me. Okay, so that's it. That's the, the hamburger meat and the onion, salt and pepper to taste, and a little bit of the Southern Secret. If you don't have Southern Secret yet, put you a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder. Okay, this is the something different. Not this, because we're gonna put a jar of this Prego meat sauce. You can make your homemade, I can make homemade. I just ain't gonna do it tonight. I just ain't. I know. Uh, it's Thursday, but I'm tired. It's a tired Thursday. It's been raining here uh, for days and nights. And uh, without the sunshine, you know, you get a little tired and gloomy. Uh, I'm gonna, now, my mama would be mad if I don't put a little water in that and rinse it out in a minute. Okay? If she's seen this on the video, she'd say, you didn't rinse that out. This is a little something different I've seen on Facebook, and they said, once you eat this, you'll never go back. A little bit of homestyle Alfredo. So I'm gonna put it in here with it. I'm mixing the red sauce and the white sauce together. I remember when we used to go out to eat all the time, we used to go to an Italian place. Mm, that smells good. And we would get a dish, and it came with red and white sauce, and we would um, love it because it had both sauces. And so when I heard this, I thought, oh, I've got to try that. So that's it. That is that is it that right there. So your meat, your onions, your seasoning, and your noodles. And I put two jars in here, one white and one red. And now we're going to give it all a stir together. Y'all get along in there. Make friends. Folding it in nicely. And it's so hot, the noodles work, because I just now took them off the stove. But I'm gonna put them back on here, and I'm gonna let them, let that cook for just a few, and uh, we're gonna check it out. And now, y'all are gonna have to watch the pot for me until I get back. Y'all watch that, because uh, I'm gonna run over here and put some water in these, because I'm telling you, it will be brought up in the next board meeting if I don't. And it'll go something like, 
You know better than that. We don't waste stuff like that. There was probably a good four or five tablespoons in there. And mom was right. There probably is. Let's go here and, and run a little water in these. Shake them up and I'm going to put them in there. A little water. Fill them about a half full. Not quite. Shake, shake, shake. Now I'm using tap water, but this is filtered in the sink. It's filtered tap. Filtered, filtered, filtered. And this is so easy, and you can save money by doing this. So you certainly save a little product. I've seen people, they don't don't get all the soup out of cans. They don't, you know, they'll throw away stuff. I wasn't raised like that. That don't mean it's right, but I see that's going to come out good and clean, and there's plenty of white sauce in there. Do y'all do this? See, now that jar will be good and clean. It will be. You hear it bullet? Folks, it was hot, and I'm gonna squirt a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in here just for the flavor. I like to put a little olive oil in the noodles or in this mix, whatever I'm doing. Now that'll need to cool down just a second. This is quick, this is easy. Uh, this, is a, this is a Thursday night meal. This is something you can pull together. I cooked the pasta about 12 minutes and I opened two jars and the meat took me earlier, whole total time, 10 or 12 minutes to brown and get all the flavors going. Now I'm gonna let that thicken by leaving the lid off. But first I'm gonna put the lid on, let it come back up to temperature. And then I'm gonna take the lid off and let it evaporate out. What are y'all up to? Is it still raining at your house? I, I never complain about the weather. How oh, I'll say it's hot or something like that, but I know whatever we get is what we gotta have. Um, Yens got words tonight, thank you. Whatever Yens did, thank you, because now I can see. Last night Yens was just watching, watching. Now there's a watching, but I have watchings, but now I do have words too. Yes, I put water in my jars. Thomas, you have to. Uh, hey, Julie, how are you? I do the same thing, John. I just can't throw it away. I can't either, Emily. It's wasted. It really is. Hey, Bridget Hunter, how are you? Never had two sauces combined. Uh, I haven't either. I saw this the other night on a uh, Facebook channel. I would give credit to who it was if I could remember. But I do, I scroll through. I'll see something, I'll think, oh, that looks good. Do y'all do that? And the hungrier I am, the better it looks. And um, I guess the more likely I am to try it. But this came across and I thought, a friend of mine, we used to go out all the time and she would always wanted the double sauces. I would usually get red sauce and she would ask for side of the, of a, the, um, the Alfredo to go with it. And I would think, so one time they'd done both of them that way. And I, I didn't want to complain. And I said, I'll do that. I don't care. It was so good. Then that became my usual. I'd done that every time. So when I saw this, my mind started going back to that. that and I'm thinking, boy, that was good mix before. And if I could mix it, I never thought about it. Why do we not think about it? You ever wonder, like, have you ever seen an invention? And you think, why didn't I think of that? Same thing with cooking. I do that all the time. I'm like, why didn't I think of that? While I was out there looking at the beans in the garden, I got a little wet. So if, if I look like I've been running through a hedge backwards, I almost have. Truth, truth. Uh, here's, I, and I'm not trying to say I picked a bunch. This is my little harvest for tonight. But now I want to show you these beans. So these are the red peanut beans. This is what they look like when they come off the vine. See there? They're red and green. But there's more green ones and they're flat. See, there's a bunch of those. 
Now, I don't think my mama would call that a full bean. I think she'd say, well, thank you for picking them, but they could have gone another day or two. I can hear her saying that. Now, there are some that are fuller, and those red ones mean that they're ready. Um, that one's a little fuller, but there's so many of them that are just that flat. And you don't, you want a full bean, you can ask your mama about that. But see, a bunch of them was like this. I ain't a full bean. A full bean would be like this one. See the consistent little beans in it? This one, you see a difference. Let's hold them up side by side. Turn around there now. See the difference? And so, Mama's going to be back tomorrow, Lord will. I'm, I'm glad. I've missed her. And here's the lettuce. Look at this beautiful lettuce. Now, this lettuce is a little big. Uh, for You want to pick lettuce a lot of times when it's small. But this is tender and crisp. I'm going to break this up and use it for sandwiches. I'm going to break it up and use it for sandwiches. And look at these green onions. Some of these green onions, I don't know what happened. They were laying flat on the ground. So I went ahead and got them. But see, that's just a... Uh, it's just the raw, dirty onion. I'll cut them roots off and replant them and let them make another onion for us. But I started picking beans and I stopped and I sent Mama a picture. She must have been doing something because she didn't reply. But she don't text. If she does, sometimes let's get one letter or something. Okay, so now I'm taking the lid off, stirring it up good, and I'm going to let some of that thicken up. Let's do a flyover so y'all can see the pot. What do you think? What do you think? Does it look tasty? Look at it. I think it's going to be delicious. I think those two flavors together, this is going to be a new treat for us. Um, this will, there'll be some of this left. I'll see if Mama likes it. Um, I did want to try it tonight, though, while she wasn't here. I don't want her depending on it for her supper. And then her said, mm, I didn't care for it. So uh, she can try it this way and get a good taste on it and see, if, you know, if it's something she'd even be interested in. Let's try it again. And if not, I'll have to try it the next time she goes on a trip. <laughs> Which I'm sure won't be long, no, Mama. She's, usually when she goes on a trip, they talk about another trip and it gets her all excited about it. And she plans one for the next six months or so. Uh, so she likes to... Keep something on the burn. I think it gives her something to look forward to. Uh, and keeps her preparing for it. I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. I think it's done. It can thicken a little more before I put that water in there. But let's give it a whirl. You want it? Let's see what we got. Mm-hmm. Now you can sprinkle a little parm on this if you want to. Um, got a little mess there on the side. You know, Mama says, don't let stuff get on the side of the plate. So what y'all think? Just like downtown, ain't it? So what did we do? I'm, I ground, I did a pound of uh, ground chuck and a mm, small yellow onion. And, uh, just brown the meat, put the onion in there when it was about five minutes to go. And I put um, a little bit of Y'all Southern Secret in there. And I put salt and pepper. And I let that brown, and then I drained it good. I put a pepper towel in there and drained it, and then I laid the skillet up and hooked it on the teapot over the tea kettle. Up. Let that grease come to one side, pulled the meat up to the top, and I squeezed it good. So there wasn't a lot of, of um, grease in it when I done it tonight. And then I put it in the microwave and just reheated it good. And I made these uh, um, panini regatta. Don't make fun of me. I'm trying. Anyhow, um, I, I just boiled it 12 minutes with salt. Um, didn't even put butter in it. I just put salt water and boiled it in salt water. And um, then I put, y'all see me, this is Prego, but I would use whatever whatever you have, it wouldn't matter. Um, this is just meat flavored spaghetti sauce. And this is just a jar of uh, homestyle Alfredo. 
I bought home stuff because I figured I wanted to taste home out. I'm using paper towel tonight. Let's bless our meal. Dearly Father, we thank you for this food and we thank you for the nourishment of our bodies, dear Lord. And we just ask you to be with us and watch over us, lead and guide and direct us in everything that we say and do, dear Lord. And we just pray, Lord, for everyone that's watching tonight, all those prayer requests that are out there, those spoken and unspoken. Lord, you know the need, you know the hurt, and we just pray that you is the taste test. Let's try it. Okay, I want to get noodles, I want to get meat. Now this particular, it has the chunks of tomato in it. It has all that. So this is my first, folks. I've never tried it. This is both sauces. And they say once you try this, you can't go back. I probably could. I don't know. We'll try it. I don't want to be too hasty. Mm. That's absolutely delicious, folks. It really is. It um, it blended real well. Um, I like the two together. Um, I like it on this penne pasta too because it holds it and you got the little centers in that meat. It's delicious. It's uh, different. Not different like something I can't explain. It's different. The two sauces together really taste great. Mm. So whoever posted that and said that, how good it was, you are right. This is my olive oil. This is the same olive oil I put in here. It's delicious. I mean, A, number one delicious. Hi, John. Looks good. Deanna, it is good. Let's try this fancy bread. Hot dog bun. Mm, it's good, too. <laughs> I've made two buns, so I'm going to have one now, and I'll have one for lunch, because I knew I was making a big pot of this. And I knew this would be my lunch. So I thought, well, you'll need bread, and you won't want to fix it tomorrow in the morning, you'll be wanting it. So you'll just bag it up and I'll find a microwave and I'll heat it up. I'm gonna go with a redo on this one. I'm gonna say, yeah, I would redo it. I'd have it again and again. Uh, it's delicious, it really is. And I think mama will like it because it's nothing out of the ordinary. If any of y'all have tried this before, looks yummy. It is yummy. Y'all wanna buy it? It's yummy. Um, that just spoiled. I hope it get in my shirt. Um, it is yummy. Do y'all take your pork prongs and stick it in there like this and then scoop up some meat on the top? Is that like a kid playing choo-choo train or something? I feel like I'm running a forklift, but I, I have to do that. I know, it's ridiculous. But I'll do it again. I just almost feel like I need to do that. Run my fork up in it. Don't act like you don't do that. You just ain't showing everybody how silly you are. This is good. Do it again. We'll do it again. And you try it if you haven't. I've made it before. It is good. Debbie, it is. Hi, John and Mama from Ohio. Hey, Ann. Hey, Teresa, how are you? What were the two sauces, Charlotte? They were, now I just got pregnant because that was what was on sale. We buy, Mama will use ragu, and this was on sale, so I picked it up. Uh, and this is just Prego Home Style Alfredo. It's good. I tasted of it. Um, where I smelled of it, didn't I? I smelled of it, it smelled good. This just happens to be flavored with meat, but I would use any kind of marinara. 
and it's just Prego flavored with meat, but I might use Ragu next time or Hunt's or whatever I find on sale. Um, because to me, I'd add a dash dash and I make them all taste about the same when I get them poured in there. Some of you will probably give me three or four examples of why one's better than the other. But I eat them. I just like them. I mean, I think they're all very, very similar. I can't really, I couldn't do a side by side taste test and tell you any different. And then I'm always add a little dash of this, a little bit of Southern Secret in it, you know. So I change the flavor of it anyway. This is a good bite because it's got all the noodles, the meat, and look there on the back. Little piece of bread. Better eat it before it falls off. Mmm. Somebody just said it while ago. It is good. Hello from New York. Hey, Brian. Brian is from Brooklyn, New York. Now, Brian, from what I've heard from Brooklyn, you all could beat this stuff up to pieces. And I'm sure it would be delicious. Could you imagine? Mm, could you imagine homemade pasta with some homemade red sauce and some homemade Alfredo? Oh, that would be delicious. Hi from Illinois. I ate some of the best Italian food I ever had when I was in New York. No lie. Now, I've never been to Italy or anything, but I did eat some good Italian pizza. I ate some pizza. I had some uh, pasta and sauces that were so good. Um, wonderful food. Wonderful. I'm having food, uh, fried bologna, fried eggs, gravy, and biscuits. Surely that sounds good. I love breakfast for supper. It's one of my favorite suppers. Italian sauces would be good in it, maybe. Brenda, it would be. Uh, if I'd had that, I'm going to have to look at our table and see if we can buy ground sausage. Now, you can buy breakfast sausage. Somebody tell me, can I use a roll of breakfast sausage with hamburger? But is it the same thing? Or do they do something different with the Italian sausage that we I hear about all the time? I use a half a pack of, half a pound of ground sausage and a half a pound of hamburger. Could I just get some... Tennessee Pride sausage for breakfast and put with that. I think it would, would be different, wouldn't it? The need to, to try Chicago pizza. Susan, I have had Chicago pizza. Now that's a pizza that eats like a meal. That's the big thick deep dish. Yeah. Hi from New Jersey. Looks yummy. Hey Deb, thank you. Uh hey Bridget from Brooklyn has the best Cheese, oh yeah, it does New York cheesecake. You can't beat that. That's one thing I had up there. Um, when I went to New York, I had a list of must-haves. New York pizza. We went to Ray's. And Ray's, I think, was one of them that was featured on a sitcom uh, Seinfeld one time, or many times, or whatever. But they had good pizza. And then, and I tried some other pizzas, and they were all good. Um, and I wanted cheesecake. Had to have me some cheesecake. Um, so that was, and I wanted an authentic pasta dish from them. We went to the, somewhere and had all those things. And I loved them all. And they were all just so good. It's kind of like when you go to the ocean. First night, I want seafood. Now, mama's not seafood. So we had to go to a surf and turf or somewhere uh, with mama where she can get a steak or she can get chicken tenders or something like that. Um, but she don't mind us eating fish, but she just doesn't want to eat it. Catfish, she will. Whiting, she will. I buy cod fish sometimes in the chunks and make a little batter dip fried fish. She'll eat it because it's not too fishy. Cod and whiting, all those are pretty... And tilapia is not too fishy flavored. Hey, John. Hey, David. Mary, how are you? I use hamburger meat and breakfast sausage together in my spaghetti girl the other night. She said, I figured you might be filming. I said, Mama, if you'd turn on your phone, you would have seen us. Oh, well, I should have. She may have. She may know. Uh, that would be good with 
the burrito pasto. Gail? I can't pronounce some of those words, but it sounds like something good. I made hamburger soup and cornbread. Gwen, that sounds good too. So somebody said you could use breakfast sausage in my... That might be a new thing. Because, you know, a lot of stores I go to them and I'll see ground sausage. And I think, that's what everybody's cooking with. But if I could just use breakfast sausage, a roll, I may do that next time and put a little breakfast sausage in there. Now, that's not a hot... I don't want it to stick. It'd be bad to cook a big old pot for two or three meals here and then stick it and not be able to eat it. Ugh. It's good. Because I've had it turned off this whole time. All right. Folks, that's it. That's supper in a nutshell. Mama will probably be back tomorrow evening. We may have to just film picking Mama up. Don't know what time. It could be late. It could be at 5 o'clock. Um, but she'll be back tomorrow night. Look at the Lord willing. Y'all pray for Red Mercy. And um, get her back home. Maggie will be so excited to see her. But Mama's got it coming. She's she's in trouble. Uh, Maggie will make her pay for these days off. She will literally take every step Mama takes for the next five days. And she'll lay at Mama's feet. And she'll, she'll have to be right where she's at. Because Maggie realizes Maggie's got it down pat. She appreciates her so much that she wants to be near her. Now, um... Maggie's lived here even when Dad was alive, and I've not lived here that long. And um, so, Mama's her person. Mama's 100% her person. And um, she loves me, and she, she carries on when I come home, but it's short lived. But now, when Mama comes home, in fact, I will really have to be careful. Um, when Mama comes in the door, I'll have to really make sure Maggie don't trip her because Maggie will not leave her. Maggie will be right with her and Mama will be going, Maggie, honey, you're going to make me foul. Maggie, honey, move. And I'll have to kind of help her out. Uh, but, you know, Maggie will let Mama know you were missed because she, she does that every time. Uh, she'll lay and look at her. If she can be looking at her, she's okay. Uh, but if Mama goes out to the garden for the next few days or she's out of the house... She'll have to take Maggie with her or she'll stand at the door and howl. She'll be so tore up because when she sees Mama, she'll be tickled to death. Uh, she started today, uh, this evening, running to the garage door. And that means Mama should be coming in. Where's Mama? So she knows, but she'll be tickled. I, she slept in my bedroom every night. And she hadn't been doing that for probably six or eight months. But every night she comes in there. It's time to go to bed, she'll say. <laughs> when Mackie says it's time to go to bed, she goes to her bed and looks at her bed and looks at you and looks at her bed like, uh, it's time. She's bossy. John, do you rent your house or have you sold I have not sold it. I do uh, rent my house. Um, but um, <laughs> Mama is perfectly capable perfectly capable. She gets around better than I do. She's a, uh, I tell her all the time, I want to be as young as you are some days. But because of her blood sugar, and then when she had the stents put in, and she has to be on blood thinner, the blood thinner, I don't know, we may be making this up, but it seems to us like when her blood drops now, since she's been on the blood thinner, that uh, it affects her a little bit worse. But it could be her age. But it's not dropped, thank the Lord, in a, quite a while. But she went through a spell there where it was dropping two or three times a week. And um, I just don't want to leave her here. And her, you know, may have a spell at night. And I can't be in another house worrying about her. Uh, and I can hear her and all that. But when she's fine, she's fine. But when her blood sugar drops, if, if it would drop gradually... Or if she if it would drop when she was awake, but it seems to drop in the middle of the night, and she gets up and she's a little disoriented. Um, you know, have y'all seen um, so many noise when they're trying to get 
that girl to drink juice and she knows she should drink juice, but she won't drink the juice. Mama don't fight or nothing. It ain't that traumatic of a scene. But, you know, sometimes I'll say, I'm going to get you some orange juice. And she'll say, no, I'm okay. No, no, you're not okay. I can look at you. But it's, you know, in a minute she will, she gets, she understands more what she needs. But uh, Mama will be 75 in August. She's a young 75, but uh, I just worry about her falling. And she has fallen several times in the past two years. Um, I tease her every once in a while, you know, there's commercials that says, if you've fallen twice in the past year, you could qualify for a scooter. I said, Mama, I think you might qualify for that. Oh, I don't need no scooter. Uh, but she's perfectly fine. And the doctor keeps telling us, leave her alone, let her do stuff. She's got a... She's got a young heart. It just needed a few stents. So, ever since the stents, and she passed out that time at church, you know, um, and she didn't know she even passed out. It happened so quick. Um, you just gotta put a little extra protection out there. But anyhow, that's that. I would have to get her to company. Would be lonely. I would be what? Well, I would live together, it would be lonely. Now, Mama might have been a little lonely. Um, it, but Mama's got a lot of friends, and she talks on the phone, and she plays her iPad game, or um, what do they call it? The card game that you play by yourself, Solitaire. She likes it. She likes to watch her show. She stays occupied. And it seems like she'll have nothing else in the whole world to do. She'll run up two or three Afghans or something and crochet, especially in the winter time. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's fine. It works out great. I know a lot of times people will say, "Don't you all do anything? Are you together all the time?" We really aren't. We're only together in the evenings when y'all see us. That's the most part we're together. Mama runs around a lot. I work, and then I have friends, and we go out occasionally. But since COVID, we just don't go out that much. And used to, I went out two or three times a week. Now, I don't, and it's fine. I don't. I, I talk to friends. We go out a lot, but it, it's not no two or three times a week. For one thing, I'm old and I'm tired. I got flyers to water. Now I ain't watered none in this week. It's been raining. But, you know, when you takes an hour to water Mama's flowers and Maggie to take care of, I'm tired after work. I'm ready to eat, talk to y'all a few minutes, do a few chores, go out and sit on that porch. That's my highlight. Drink this little bit of Java here. Um, and that's it. If y'all tried y'all sweet tea coffee, which one you like best? Which is your favorite? I think I have a favorite. And then I'll make the other one. I think, well, I don't like this one. So I like the breakfast blend at breakfast. And I like the uh, house blend in the evening. It's a little stronger to me. And I like it at the evenings a little bit. So I have them both. And I like them both equally as well. If you haven't tried them, I recommend trying them. Use John, J-O-H-N. And they'll give you 10% off everything you buy on the site. I think the peach tea is gone again. Um, I, the pictures I think are gone too. You know, I showed you all the pictures Sunday, uh, but I think it might be gone now. But they're going to restock, and they promised the other day I seen that would they restock so much that everybody could buy. You could buy tea for everybody in the neighborhood. They said so. I guess they're going to uh, really restock and keep it permanent all the time. Please pray for my daughter. Is having surgery at 8.30 tomorrow morning. Please pray. Sherry, we will be praying for you. And y'all put some love out there for Sherry. Uh, uh, it, it, I don't know what kind of surgery she's having. It don't matter. We just pray for hedge protection around her and you all. And uh, the Lord will be with her. And she'll recover quickly. Saying prayers for you, Sherry. The best thing for low sugar is drink... A sweet drink. Linda, yeah, we keep orange juice. It, it seems to work the best with Mama the quickest. Uh, but she can't drink any other time because it works the other way too. 
Um, my daughter's blood sugar drops at night too. It can be scary. You're a good oh, I'm not a good son. I'm just, you know, I'm not, I, mean, I don't do anything special. I just do what I think a son should do for a parent or any parent. Oh, and, you know, your parents invest so much of their time and efforts in you for so long and their money and, and their, everything. I mean, everything you have, you owe to your parents. And to me, it's an honor. It's an honor. I was an honor to take care of my dad, help my mom take care of my dad. She did the bulk, and he seen to it. He seen to it. Um, but uh, anything I can do, I, I count that as just an honor to be able to do it. Uh, I don't think it makes me uh, anything other than what I should be. And um, it thickened. Those noodles pulled that out. But I care it's still boiling. It's been off forever. I'm going to move him over there. I got to take him up. That's what needs to be done. Uh, but yeah, her blood sugar drops at night. I mean, like nine times out of ten. But I think what it is, and I, she and I have talked about it, she can feel it when she's awake. And as soon as she detects it, she checks it. And um, it, most of the time it's low. And she will eat or something and she'll take care of it immediately. But at night, I think it it drops quick and it drops um, pretty low and she gets hot and sweaty and she wakes up. And then when she wakes up, she'll try to stand up, you know, to go get her something. You know, she don't, and she gets off balance. And she'll fall. She has fallen several. One time she fell over a heater. I told y'all that story. Uh, she's fell into a fan or two. She's fell into a heater. Uh, she's not broken anything. One time she, she says that she didn't pass out. But I wasn't living here then. Um, she's got a marble top dresser. It's an antique dresser that we bought at a... Uh, Daddy bought it for at a auction one night for like thirty dollars, and it's a really nice dresser for an antique. But uh, you don't want to fall into it because it's oak and marble. It's got marble pieces. You know, it's one of those drop down. It's got a little piece. It's not a huge thing or nothing. It's just a little small dresser. But uh, she told me. The morning when I caught her, she said, well, I'll go ahead and tell you because I know you'll find out and you'll be fussing. I said, what? And she said, I fell into the dresser. I said, Mama, how'd you fall into the dresser? I got up and stumbled around and I fell in, in, into the dresser and I hurt my hand a little bit and my elbow and my forehead a little bit. I said, Mama, did you fall down? She said, well, I caught myself before I fell all the way down. But I think she might have been going to pass out or something. Anyhow, just getting up from her bed and turning around, she fell into that dresser with her hand, and then she hit her elbow on that marble, and then it slung her into the mirror, and she had a big bruise pump knot there. So I theorize there might have been more going on than Mama told me. I don't think it was just a stumble. Maggie's drinking water and having her little snack. So uh, it was not long after that I started staying over here more and more, and and um, then how do you pick the night? Something's not going to happen. You know, I'm not that good at picking. It's not worth the gamble. So uh, yeah, that's just the way it is, folks. All right, John, my mama lived with us for several years. Uh, why I want to go to my home. She was a diabetic at the heart. Ah. Susan, how are you? All right, folks. This, this pasta, this thing is off. But it must be extra hot in there. It's boiling again. Look at that. And I've checked twice. Those things are off. But that's good and thick. That's what you want. It's starting to stick on the edge here, John. I better get off here and take this up or I ain't going to have no lunch. And Mama won't have no sample. 
I ain't never seen a pot that won't cool back down. This is a Tupperware pot and it does hold heat well. Uh, <laughs> let's get our food taken up and uh, we'll let you all go. As Mama says, she told me the other night, you all would, you all believe it because you know how Mama is. She said, I ain't going to be there to tell you to hush, so don't you keep them all night. Can you believe my Mama would say that? Yes, you can, can't you? Because she did. I'm going to put some of this in this meat before I have that meat because that'll be a little bit for lunch. But anyway, I'm going to say good night to you. God bless you. And uh, Lord willing, tomorrow evening, Mama will be back home. And uh, she probably won't cook tomorrow evening. So we might just do a chat. I'll tell you what we could do. We might just let her tell you what all she's been up to because I honestly don't know. I know she went on a train ride yesterday. And evidently, she didn't have the, they didn't have the best time on the train. I mean, it's okay, nothing bad, but I think it, it stopped a couple of times going up the hill, and then uh, they thought they was going to do a roundabout thing, and but they just switched the engine and then pulled them, they just pulled them up the hill and pulled them straight back down. And Mama had to ride backwards back then. <laughs> she didn't like it. And so, last night, she was telling me about that and life, and but she's had a good time. Every time I've talked to her, she has been giggling and laughing and just having the best time. And that's what it's all about. Laughing and giggling and having a good time. The the uh, lady she's with is one of her good friends. I mean, they get along great. But she's younger than Mama. But um, I trust her. And I'm like, uh, Rhonda takes care of Mama. And I'm like, you know, if she's with Rhonda, I feel perfectly content. I don't worry. I don't wonder. I wonder if she's eating, wonder if she's taken care of, because I know Rhonda will take care of her. Anyway, I'm going to say good night. Y'all have a blessed night. Make you some memories. Um, do something good. If it's raining where you're at, you ain't alone. We've had rain every day this week, I do believe. And uh, I don't know if the weekend's going to be better or not. I'm going to have to check the weather here in a minute to see what it is and go from there. Um, but thank y'all for putting up with me this week. Hopefully this is the last night you will have to put up with just me. Hopefully uh, tomorrow night, at least Mom will be here to chat. Uh, and, and she may come in and starve to death for a mashed potato and we may have a, you know how she is. We may have, depending on what time she gets here. Uh, so we may be cooking or we may not. I don't know. We'll, you'll know when I know. And, um, but she'll be back tomorrow night and she'll at least tell y'all what she did and where she's been and what all she's been up to. And you see, here she goes. She's going, what, you all see her? Maggie, what are you doing, baby? She started to the garage. Are you looking for Mama? She's wanting to go out 58 times every evening because she's looking for Mama outside. Um, I take her out most of those times, but every once in a while I have to say Maggie. No, we ain't going right now. We just came in. So, uh, I'll be glad when Mama gets back to settle Maggie down. She's eat and drank a little bit. And now she's wondering, how come you're talking to that thing uh, on the counter and, you're, and my Mama's not sitting next to you? That's what's going through her mind right now. She worries about her. Okay, this is the third goodbye. Love y'all. Y'all have a great evening. Make you some memories. And hopefully we'll see you tomorrow evening. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.